Next case, our next guest is working on a book about Elizabeth Warren's policy agenda, which he calls dangerous. David Barnson is back. Okay, a welcome return for our old friend. David, welcome back. Good to be with you. Let's suppose that Elizabeth Warren wins the nomination and becomes the president of the United States of America. Would America still be, in your opinion, a capitalist society? Well, it would, and, and this is the thing. It would? You, you cannot um, assume that one election sways the DNA of our country if you hold the ideas of our country in as high regard as you do and I do. Okay. Our country's ideas, its fundamental DNA is stronger than one election. And frankly, if Senator Warren becomes president, it very likely would be more to do with problems with the incumbent President Trump than America all of a sudden embracing her far left agenda. But if, but if she became president and if she got through the measures which she proposes, would we still be a capitalist society yeah, that, if, if she got, went all the way and got it all? This is the hedge that we have in our country, and I use hedge because it's a financial term we deal with all the time, politically the hedge, written by James Madison and Alexander Hamilton, separation of powers. The Republicans have to hold the Senate. Now, even if they don't, every two years we get to elect new congressmen, and every six years new senators, every four years new president. We have a form of government that allows us to undo mistakes. We've made mistakes before. In the case of Elizabeth Warren, she has the ability on an executive branch level to do a lot of regulatory damage in both the financial sector and the energy sector. So there's two big mistakes that I think investors could make around what to expect with Elizabeth Warren. One is thinking there's no risk at all. She can do a lot of damage, significant damage, mostly to the middle class, by the way. Everyone's saying she's a nightmare for billionaire hedge funds. Billionaire hedge funders are going to find ways around anything she comes up with. They always do do. It's where it will damage economic prosperity and the whole idea of an aspirational society. But the other thing people could do is assuming, like you asked, could she destroy the American dream? My belief is the only thing that can destroy the American dream are Americans. We have to hold tight to the aspirational society we believe in, to the principles of our founders. Ultimately, the wealth tax, slavery reparations, Medicare for all, these, some of these ideas are outlandish, and I'm working in this book on, on exposing what the economic cost will be. But we have the ability with the Republican-led Senate to just put it uh, to aside, say, no, you're not going to get to implement those things. It's the Green New Deal that gets to me. Uh, no. Apart from tax the rich, tax the billionaires, knock them out of the ballpark. Okay, I got all of that. But the Green New Deal, that is just anathema to capitalism. But here's an irony about it, Stuart. She cannot get elected without the Rust Belt. Right. We know this. That's true. She tweets on day one. I will sign executive order banning all fracking. They asked her, do you mean on public lands, federal lands, how President Obama did? She said, no, all fracking. Is she going to win Pennsylvania saying that she's going to put a million and a half people out of work that work in uh, some aspect of energy exploration, some aspect of American energy independence? That, that whole entire story should be an environmentalist dream. Natural gas is such a cleaner fuel. Yeah. And it should be a dream of people that want to put blue collar middle class Americans to work. So I don't think that the worst parts of her Green New Deal she can even run on if she wants to get elected. So the book comes out next year just in time for the nomination of Elizabeth get, Warren. Get ready for 2020. It's going to be a year, and I'll be coming back to talk to you about it. Yes, you will. Yeah. David, thank you, sir. Appreciate it.